Hello, hello, it's Lisa from ToCreateAWebsite.com and today I'm going to teach you how to create a PDF or an ebook using Microsoft 2003 or Microsoft Word 2003 and Adobe Acrobat Professional. Now, if you don't want to buy Adobe Acrobat Professional because it is pricey, you can use other PDF conversion tools like Qt PDF, for example, is one. QtPDF.com is the address, so you can go download it. I believe it's free, or at least they give you a free trial. Um, I don't really know the difference in that versus Adobe Acrobat Professional because I've never used Qt PDF, but I have read about it and I know a lot of people swear by it and they say it's just as good as using Adobe Acrobat Professional. I personally have chosen to use Acrobat because I've been using it for years. I used to work on a job that required me to use it, so I just kind of stuck with the brand. And I'm sure there are some features on Qt PDF that are not available with that are that are available with Adobe Acrobat. So you know you kind of get what you pay for sometimes. So just kind of keep that in mind. But in this video, I'm going to talk about Adobe Acrobat Professional. Um, so you'll have to change my you know instructions a little bit and you know use Qt and you know adjust them to Qt PDF. So, um, what you're looking at now is my book in Microsoft Word. This is a book that I just recently launched. It's called The Perfect Site Guide, and you can download it for free at theperfectsiteguide.com. Um, I created this book in Microsoft Word 2003, and this is what you're looking at here. Um, creating it was pretty easy. I just um, added images, you know, copying images from my computer and pasting them right into the page, and then resizing them by dragging the little handles. It's really easy. Um, hyperlinks are easy to create. You just select the text you want to hyperlink and you right click, say hyperlink, and make sure you have existing file or web page clicked here and then type in the address, hit OK, and then it turns it right into an underlined hyperlink that looks like this here and it will work in a PDF as well. So um, another thing you might want to do is create a table of contents that links to sections within the book. So when you click on it, it goes right to the section of the page. How did I do that? I created a bookmark link and in Word how to create a bookmark link you just go and select the text and you go up to insert bookmark you name it whatever you want to name it I would name it what the title is so it's easy to find later no spaces otherwise it won't work say add and you go back up to your table of contents sorry I'm jumping around here you um, select the text you want to become a link it says edit because I've already done it but if you had not done this it would say hyperlink so you click that and you want to link to a place in this document so make sure that's highlighted and then you look for your bookmark that you just created and you double click and it makes your bookmark link so you can test it out in Word by clicking control click holding down the control and clicking and that's how you test it now of course in the PDF you don't have to hit down the control hold down the control you can just click the link just like any other link and it will work okay so you want to do that for all of the links in your table of contents so once you've done that you of course gonna proofread your book make sure all your links um, are going to the right places and you're gonna save your book and then when you have Adobe Acrobat Professional there's a link here in your toolbar or a button here on your toolbar that says convert to Adobe PDF so you just click that and I'm gonna overwrite my book and it's going to take about 45 seconds to a minute to do the conversion so I'm going to pause it and then come back okay that took about 45 seconds to a minute and the time of course is going to vary depending on the size of your book so now you're looking at the finished PDF so this is the book and let's go down to the anchor link section or the bookmark link section that I created I just want to show you that they still work in the PDF see it takes you right down to the section so um, it's really important that you do all of your bookmark links in Word. You can actually do the bookmark links in the PDF, but I don't recommend that because if you wait to do them when you have the PDF created, then that means every time you make an edit to your book in Word, you have to go back to, P to the PDF and make your bookmark links all over again. And that will take a long time if you have a lot like I do, as you can see here. So how you would do that with Adobe is you come up here to the link tool, and as you can see, it highlighted these uh, links because they're already links but what you would do is you would select the text you want to make a uh, bookmark link and you would go down here to properties actions and then select an action and then you would say go to page view 
and then Adobe will t will ask you what page do you want this link to go to so you will scroll down I'm not gonna go through here because it would take too much time but you can do the bookmark links in the PDF but I would highly recommend you do it in Word because you only have to do it one time and every time you make a change to your book you won't have to redo all your links so let's click off of that so now you just kinda want to give your book a once over make sure everything looks good and now you want to do something that's very important you want to secure it to keep people from being able to just lift or copy and paste your content and images right off the book so you go up to advanced and then security and password encrypt and you're gonna come down here to permissions and check the box that says restrict editing and you're gonna put in a password this is a password that someone would have to know in order to be able to make a, make changes to your book so printing aloud you're gonna say if, if you don't want people to print your book you can say none but I always allow people to print uh, in high resolution changes aloud um, I have them set to none but let's say you have some comment forms in your book and you want people to fill out the forms then you would check this here that says commenting because you want people to be able to fill out the forms at least but for me I don't have forms so I'm just gonna say none so I'm gonna say okay and I have to re-enter the password once again to make sure it's correct and I'm gonna say okay now the only thing left to do is save it so I'm gonna come over here and watch the top bar here while I hit save now it says secure that's how you know your book is secure so now what you're gonna do is just save well you've already saved it but you're gonna upload it to your web host so people can go to your PDF by going to your domain dot com slash name of PDF dot PDF that's how they would read it now if you want to force people to download the book you can zip up the PDF in a zip file and you can do that by going here to let's say right click the file the PDF file and you're gonna say send to compress zip folder and you're gonna type the name of it and then just say or I'm just gonna click and now I've got a PDF I don't know why it's on top of that icon like that but now I have a PDF that or excuse me a zip file that I can upload to my web host so now when people go to your domain dot com slash uh, book dot PDF they will be forced to download the PDF instead of opening it instantly like they would if you just upload the raw PDF I personally promote the raw PDF file because the search engines can read and spider the PDFs so I think it's better to have just the raw PDF file out there and then I instruct people on how to save it to their computer by just going to file page save as, or save page as I believe it is so you can do what you want um, you can also do both you can upload the raw PDF and then also give them an option to download the zip file as well so it's up to you so guys that's it that's how you create a PDF uh, using Microsoft Word and Adobe Acrobat Professional. Make sure you go to my uh, site, theperfectsiteguide.com, to download this free book. It's absolutely free, no strings attached. It teaches you how to create a website or blog and make money from it. And I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.